All right, congratulations. Another SUNYAC championship under your belt. How's it feel, back-to-back -back champs? It's pretty crazy. Um, at the beginning of the season, we had a lot of new people, and we all came together, and we really gave it our all. And This is where we wanted to be, so it's, it's great. Uh, first, New Paltz was an unbelievable opponent. They fought hard and pushed us to the brink. Um, those kids in that program uh, deserve a ton of respect and just the way they go about things out and off the court. Uh, second, it's, uh, it's awesome. Uh, everyone is different and they're both really sweet. So uh, take 15 or 16 years to get here once and to get here two times in a row is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have words. Uh, it seemed like so many different players were able to step up in big moments today. Who do you think stepped up and really was a key player? Uh, lots of people rose to lots of occasions. I think you hit it on the head. It was a team uh, effort for sure, and we we stress that. It's, it's a, a definite thing that we work on in our culture, but um, I couldn't pick one person or two people. It was across the board. Um, just a great effort and execution at moments, so. Yeah, I mean, everyone came in in clutch moments. Um, if it was a kill from someone or an amazing dig by someone in the back row, we all just kind of came together and there wasn't one person. It was all 17 of us on and off the court for that victory. Yeah, it's, I mean, I think that's the most underrated part is the, the, the young women right now that haven't gotten on the court in that match or as much as even I would like, they are a huge part of what just happened because honestly our gym every day in practice is that fierce. And I've said it when we finished at New Paltz and I'll keep saying it, that's why we were able to do that is because every day we're challenged uh, to be better coaches and for them to be better players. So it's a tough environment to live in but it allows for opportunities like this to happen. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, now that you're guaranteed a spot in the NCAA tournament, <laughs> what's next? How do we start looking forward? Um, like Coach always says, one step at a time. This was one of our goals, and it's going to be one game at a time, one practice at a time, but our next goal would be to win regionals, make it to the Sweet, six, sweet 16. That was our next goal. So it's going to take a lot more of what we just did to get there, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun time. Yeah, I think uh, we're definitely got some areas where we can continue to improve and grow, and that's just one of our models is how do we grow today? How do we get outside our comfort zone and get a little bit better? So I hope that we as coaches can do that this week and that our players will just keep going after it um, and get a little bit better every day, and then we'll take what the outcome is. <laughs> Your lone senior was named MVP of the tournament. What made her performance stand out in your eyes? Um, man, as I, as I said, it was a complete team effort, and anytime one of our team gets recognized, it recognizes everyone. But if you typically look across a box score, it may not stand out in any one category, just that she contributes a ton in every category, from uh, the service line to defense to serve receive to you know attacking out of system balls to just making a lot of good high IQ plays that if you walked by you wouldn't be like wow that's the kid we got to stop but it's just um, a lot of good volleyball where she helps us win within rallies and then um, yeah. I think that's probably what stands out most about her her game to our, our team and what she brings to our team. Yeah. Sam is a very consistent player when we need to go to. That's where we send the ball. And she's been working really hard on not just her hitting, but her passing. And she excelled in that today. She passed very well for us. So that was, that was great. Yeah, it's fun to see because um, as Amy and a number of them, uh, Sam across the board, uh, Lou, Lauren, Kazupoli, uh, I can't name them all, just come in on their own to do extra time to get better, to make themselves and the team better. That stuff has been huge to the development of this program and why the program has grown so quickly. It's, it's on them um, and less on us as coaches. Well, congratulations. We're excited to uh, continue to watch you guys this season. But uh, congratulations, Sunny Action. Thank you. Thanks. We'll take it.